Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the Sony PlayStation 4. And I'm so annoyed because as soon as as soon as I finish the last part, I'm like, all right, uh, let's get to a save sphere. Okay, cool. So, oh, oh, the save. Oh, right, the save sphere is in here. It's uh, over on the left. It's on the other side. So I'll just save my progress and get ready to start the next part. Right. All right, cool. No, I don't think so. It's a bad idea, yes? Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that. Just... <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our Captain. Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Ugh. I had to start over. Because, you know, unless... Unless I just started right here and I skipped that scene for you guys on the recording, but I didn't want to do that. I hate... I hate doing that. I hate it so much that I never allow it to happen ever. And if some something goes down like this, for instance, uh, a scene happens, and I, I, like, oh, I forgot, oh, I forgot that happened, that scene. Oh, with the Chocobo Knights, oh, man. So I'm annoyed, and I restarted, and I will always restart. But in this instance, I restarted, and my last save was right outside the Jose Temple, uh, right, right outside the Jose Temple, right before Yuna came out, and the whole bed hair summoner thing, and, and all that. So I had to redo all of that. Uh, didn't take as long, but still took almost as long. And I had to go through the summoner battle with, um, Belgamine, and the cutscenes with Kamari and Buron and Yenke. Ugh, man. But whatever. It's done is done. We're back here, and let's get on with the part then, eh? So anyway, um, we're not gonna be seeing Lucille and Elma and Clasco for a little bit, but, you know, they're recurring characters. We'll see them again, of course. Where, where there's a will, there's a way, right? There have been reports of Albed sightings in this area. Stay alert and keep your guard up at all times. The Albed have green eyes with a swirl pattern. Report any sightings immediately. Isn't that weird? It's not like they're a race. They're human beings. You know? How does that work? It's like religion, right? You're a follower of Yevon. You're an Albed. You believe in so you believe in like using Machina and that kind of you know that sort of thing. It shouldn't give you certain color eyes, right? <laughs> Maybe because they're exposed to Machina <laughs> when they're in the womb as you know a preborn. Is that man? I think I sh that's a good idea. Hmm. I don't know. No, of course not. That makes no sense. Uh, I don't know. That's all I got. Why? Why do they have green eyes, folks? Let me know. Hey there. If you don't buy anything from me, you'll regret it. Hmm. Armor? Yeah, there's a lot of people, and a lot of these people sell items. So pick and choose, right? Thanks. When I buy nothing, I like to imagine he says that sarcastically. You know, like, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, actually, he doesn't say anything when you leave. You gotta go to the menu and then exit back out after buying nothing. Thanks! Yeah, more like a sarcastic thanks right there. Dangerous when Shoe Puff's cloche wants to be shmooshed? Yeah, we heard this thing talk in the other scene there. I don't know. This, this creature. Kind of... Well, we've seen other creatures. Crazy... Crazy uh, species of humanoid type beings, right? This isn't the first. Need anything? 
Uh, armor? Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's see. I think I'm good. Feel free to stop by any time. You say our machina violate the teachings, eh? Nonsense. These machina have Yevin's approval. Don't mix them up with the forbidden ones, got it? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, you notice this big contraption thing, huh? Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jack never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. Yeah, and you can totally see the scar there. It's on its uh, back right leg. Man, that's way up there. How'd he get up there? Oh, whatever. It's kind of cool, though, right? Even after ten years, Spira hasn't changed. Truly, the place seems to resist change. It would take something unusual. Don't let the peaceful scenery fool you. Be on guard at all times. Riding the shoe puff is free because the temple pays for it. The temple provides for the people. We are truly blessed. More people? Well, hello there. Are you in luck today? If you buy something now, I'll give you a big discount. What do you say? Weapons? Uh, so yeah, this is a big discount, right? Mm. Mm hmm. Not really a big discount. Aw, leaving already? Well, come back again, you hear? There's a long wait to ride the shoe puff since space is limited. But summoners get priority since they need to get on their way to Xanarkand. Careful when you shop. This area is full of cunning merchants. You don't say. Thanks for the advice there, Bri. And I believe there's an Albed Primer somewhere around here. Yeah, we'll find it. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous shoe puff? Absolutely! Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. The water it sucks through its schnoz somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. And that, as they say, is that. Perhaps you'd like to hear a bit about the Hypello, hmm? Absolutely! Hmm. The shoe puff handlers belong to a race of water dwellers known as the Hypello. They may be slow on land, but in the water they're quick as silvery fish. You'd think they'd make admirable players of Blitzball. But their lackadaisical disposition draws them to less strenuous pastimes. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. I believe I've said all there is to say. So, of course, we're going to run in the Machen again, and uh, he says that a lot, actually. And that, as they say, is that. Ah. Different view. Good stuff. The driver know when you're ready. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right? right? The 
merchants here are wily. Pick your shop well. I was gonna return to Bavel after the tournament in Luca. But the Crusaders blocked the roads and I couldn't get through. My plans are ruined. Now what am I supposed to do? But now I believe the road isn't blocked anymore. Yeah, it's definitely, at this point it's not blocked. That's what I was talking about, backtracking. Welcome! You seem to have fine taste, sir. Listen, buy from me and you won't have any problems down the line. <laughs> Alright, weapons. Uh, that's not bad. I'm getting a sensor on, why not, right? I like sensor. You know, gotta equip a sensor or two. Um Alright, I'm I'm done. Yeah. Thanks. So, I believe that's all there is uh, to see here. So I'm gonna let the driver know when I'm ready, which is now, and we're out of here. Ride the shoe puff. I'm ready, let me on. All aboard! Hey. Huh? Take a look. What? Whoa! A sunken city. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came. And it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended. And our reward... was sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. What could that be? Sit down. Sorry! Ah! The Albed!
I mean, Kilika was built over water though, right? But Kilika wasn't a city, it was just kind of a small village. Kilika was destroyed too by Sin, so does it really matter, Waka? I don't know, who cares? Uh-oh, uh the Albed are after Yuna. Again, wow, what's up with that? What's going on with that? So we have a boss battle here underwater, that's cool. Just Waka and Titus, of course. And yeah, that's cool, let's do it. So, uh, all right, the stats. Vulnerable to lightning. Uh, what strike? I don't think I have lightning strike. Lightning strike would help on the weapons for Walk and Titus, but I don't think I have either of that equipped on, you know, on either one of the characters. Uh, yeah, the battle's not hard. You know, just wait for your overdrives to fill up and, uh, you know, like, Dark Attack, this isn't going to work. Because it's a Machina, it's immune. But we can do Cheer. And will Delay Attack work? I don't know. Let's find out. It's a pretty straightforward battle, you know? Attack. Heal if you need to heal. You don't need accuracy. Yeah, just attack, man. Too bad I don't have a fully charged overdrive. That would be nice right now. Yeah, it looks... Look at that. Hmm. Hey, Waka, did I not set your overdrive mode to uh, warrior? So when I... When I hit an enemy, my overdrive bar will increase. Or it's set to uh, whatever it's called, and I take a hit and my overdrive bar increases. It's kind of cool. I'll have to show that to you guys, for those of you who don't know. Anyway, it's ready in the depth charges, and we don't want that to happen. So attack it hard, attack it fast, attack it now, and make it sink back uh, below. And if I can get the Titus... Oh, okay, here we go. So now it's going to drop back down, and I don't have to worry about the depth charges. It's similar in uh, many, you know, several other battles in this game. So yeah, the extractor comes back down. The depth charges are a pain. I don't know, it's just uh, more powerful. Naturally. Alright, let's do an overdrive. Slice and dice. Glad I got it. That would have been annoying. Man, now it's readying the depth charges again. Come on, dude. Give that to Titus just in case. Well, that's enough to bring it back down. Uh oh. Hmm. So let's see how much this is gonna hurt. Surely it's not gonna be a thousand HP damage. Woof! Look at this. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, causes darkness. I didn't know that. Oh no! Yeah, like I said, man, that death charge stuff. Depth charge. Maximize! And in the video description below, God, I'm so silly. In the video description below, I took a picture of a certain toy. That's depth charge. I haven't taken it yet, but I'm announcing my plans ahead of schedule. That is, oh man, we gotta do something about this. That is depth charge. Uh, I took a picture of it. I will. In the video description, uh, in the video description below, and, uh, I have that autographed by David Subalove, who I met, I met him at two conventions, actually. Uh, BotCon 2013 and Shardicon 2013. One was in California, one was in North Carolina. Yeah, David Subalove. Voice acted, depth charge in, uh, 
the 1990s, mid-1990s uh, Beast Wars show, cartoon. It's a cool Transformers show. Good old Beast Wars. David Sobolov also voiced Shockwave in Transformers Prime, of course. And Buka! So yeah, I got a couple of autographs, uh, a couple of toys. I'll take a picture of it. You can check it out. You know me, folks. I always have to show you random pictures of my... the stuff I like. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Uh, those out there... Is everybody okay? I'm sorry. We're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Shoot a full speed ahead. Damn the outbed. What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? What are they after Yuna for? Wait. They're mad they lost the tournament. Oh, wait. They're mad about Operation Meehan. I wonder, didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Albeda behind that? Those sand plastic grease monkeys! Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the Albed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. Because <laughs> remember the previous scene, of course, when, uh... Yuna and Lulu were telling Titus about Yuna's heritage. Remember, she's half Albed, and Waka is kind of an Albed bigot. I mean, Waka's reasons are kind of justifiable, I guess, but, I mean, Waka's really ignorant, of course. When it comes to the Albed, he doesn't really know anything. He just follows what, what Yevon says. Hey, we're Yevon. How are you? Oh, hi, Yevon. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, so we're Yevon. We don't like the Albed. They're horrible people and they cause all Spira's pain and everything that's wrong with Spira's because of them. Oh god, I hate those outbed, those sand blasted grease monkeys. Woof. Uh so yeah, there you go. Kimari fail as guardian on Shupov. Kimari never fail again. So that's Lady Yuna. Hmm no wonder. I can see why the Albed would go after someone like Lady Yuna. Hmm. Might be more Albed. Keep watch, yeah? All right, calm down, ya. Yeah. Looks like we're stuck here for a while. Yeah, remember Yuna's famous, so she's being swamped by the common people. With a summoner like you at our side, we've no need to How about to seeing Lord Braska and Guado Salam? I hope to celebrate Lady Yuna's calm while I'm still alive. Lord Braska must be bursting with pride up on the farm mm, plane for having yeah. such a fine daughter. Alright, so that's happening. And, uh, oh yeah, here's the Albed Primer. Excellent. And, uh... Once again, I don't think we've missed any. Doesn't seem like it. Hmm! Seems you destroyed the Albed's Machina. That's some dedication. You'll receive a blessing from Yevon. It'll be necessary to strengthen security so that the Albed won't get their way anymore. 
The Albed hide their green eyes with goggles. They're known to resort to petty tricks like that. So, I mean, if you see someone with goggles then, or covering their eyes, isn't that like pretty much a, pretty much a sign? Uh, how do you hide it? What about people that just have green eyes in general? Oh, it's the swirl, all about the swirl though, right? Shoe Puff for sleeping. Wait until Shoe Puff wake up? I don't know, are you asking me a question or? What's up with that, man? I thought I was lucky not to run into any wily merchants on the other side of the shore. Uh, but I ended up buying something from that man over there. His goods are cheaper than the other merchants', but he seems kind of suspicious. I'll walk up at your service. Hook me up, man. What you got? You got items. I'm done with you. Sin took my daughter, but I just saw her again for the first time in five years. That Guado Salam place was amazing. I've seen my daughter, so I have no regrets. I'm ready for the far plane any time now. Hmm. So first timers are kind of like, oh, what is that? What is that about? What's this far plane about? Well, we'll see. Guard Yuna. Oh, Oren. He's the best guardian. So, Guado Salam are... Guado Salami are... are filled with the, uh, the Guados. There was one over there, and, you know, we're starting to see more of them, because it's where the Guado live. Come on. I sense that Lady Yuna was here. I can feel the warmth of the people. The descendant of a high summoner, and loved by everyone... Yuna embodies perfection. This is the situation at hand. You shall understand soon. What the hell are you going on about, man? I don't know, this Guado pisses me off. Like, shut up, what are you talking about? Guado Salam is up ahead, but the path is infested with fiends. Make all necessary preparations before departing. Should I stay a crusader or follow a different path? I wanted to discuss this with someone on the far plane, but maybe I shouldn't. It's... it's my future, so I need to make my own decisions. And this is the same character model we saw sitting on like a bench at Luca, and I just hate the whole body posture of this individual, like with the hand up like, hmm, what should I do? And then... Should I stay a crusader? Should blah, 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 blah. Shut up! I'm gonna smack you too! I don't like most of you people here. Hey, you other guado, let's get these two. Get rid of them. They annoy me. <laughs> Man, so that was annoying, right? You know, I had to restart the, the part and retrace my steps a little to get to the save sphere. You know, it's just the life of a walkthrough sometimes. At least this walkthrough, man. Cause I'm not missing any scenes for you guys. I'm not missing any scenes. No way. Okay, so on the menu, you know, I, uh, when I redid it, I went to my spirit grid just to, I don't know, might as well, you know, get caught up. Like Lulu knows her secondary spells, like the Thundercats, uh, old planet Thundara. And, uh, yeah, we're all good. So that's good stuff, guys. Save sphere here, and I'm gonna save so we don't miss out on any scenes. Nah. I know what next scenes are coming up. But yeah, guys, I am going to call it a wrap right here. Good stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, I'm in those comments. Tell me what you think about things. Like always, folks, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. The links are in the video description as well as... What is it for this part? Uh, wasn't it like what I got David Subalove to autograph? Whatever. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.